This is Alice Park for Time.com. I recently visited Dr. Anthony Atala at Wake Forest University. He's the director of the Institute for Regenerative Medicine there. That's a study of creating new tissues and body parts using a patient's existing ones. Now that's not as scary as it sounds. I mean, when you think about it, treating a lot of diseases from heart disease to kidney failure requires replacing old tissues with healthy ones. So Dr. Atala has been pioneering new ways to do this for almost 20 years now, and he's building quite an impressive list of tissues that uh, he's actually regenerated in the lab. He began with skin and blood, which are the easiest to regenerate since they're constantly growing throughout your life. But he's now moved on to more complex tissues and even organs such as the bladder, which he creates in small, medium, and large sizes depending on what you need. So let me explain the process that Dr. Atala uses. To make simple tissues, first he gathers cells from the blood or skin. For more complicated tissues, like entire organs, he has to use stem cells gathered either from the patient's bone marrow or even from donated amniotic fluid. And once he has those cells, he has to grow them out in petri dishes in an incubator so that he has enough to actually create a tissue. And once he has those cells, he has to take them from that two-dimensional dish and shape them into a three-dimensional organ. And one way he's done that um, is truly amazing. He's managed to rejigger a regular old inkjet printer and instead of spraying ink, it now sprays cells into a pre-programmed biodegradable mold. So the end product is something in the shape of an organ. And I couldn't believe this until I saw it, but I saw the uh, actual printer and the actual ink cartridge that they recycle and use for cells instead of ink. It's truly mind-blowing. And once he does that, he has to make sure that the cells, when they're put together, can function as a coherent whole and work like an organ. So it's a multi-step process, and it's taken him several decades to perfect the right procedures and to figure out the right growth factors that are needed to grow the cells and then the right matrices around which he can throw these cells so that they can look like and function like an organ. You may wonder why you can't go now to your doctor and get a replacement part like this, but Dr. Atala says he thinks it's going to be several more years before they are fully tested. We already have current trials, actually, with regenerated organs uh, for bladders uh, in patients, and we are now eight years out in those trials, and they're still ongoing. And we have gone slowly in these trials because we wanted to make sure that they would be safe and effective long term. And now that we know that, we can actually start targeting other tissues and more complex organs. There are other things other than the bladder as well in, in patients now, and I think other things that you can foresee in the future are heart valves, uh, blood vessels, and more complex structures such as their re-functionalization of things such as the pancreas or even the heart.